Um, I'm Warren, one of the dietitians that work at the Barrow Delaware Union WIC office, and this is Isaac. He is our intern from Cedar Crest. Um, we are here today in celebration of National Nutrition Month. Um, you can stop by your WIC office for a limited time to pick up um, a National Nutrition Month bag that includes a recipe card with one of the recipes that we are showing you how to make today. There's one on either side, a coloring book, and measuring cups and measuring spoons. We also have my plates for your children um, for nutrition education. Talks about the different serving sizes of each food group. So half your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Um, a quarter of it should be whole grains and a quarter of it a protein source with a dairy option. Um, so a nice meal planning um, prep educational tool for your children at mealtime. Um, our recipe that we chose today, we got all the WIC approved foods that we could off of it. Um, so we have our 16 ounce block of cheese, which is a new item within the last year that you can get for one of your dairy options. Um, but we also have our canned beans that are low sodium and our whole grain tortillas, which you can get with your whole grain option. All of these we use the WIC Shopper app to scan to verify that they are WIC eligible. So if you don't already have the WIC Shopper app, you can look up authorized foods on here and also scan items at the grocery store. Um, you can also check your balance and when your next appointment is and also notify the state when you can buy a certain item at the grocery store. So it's really useful. Um, I think that is all I have to say. So you can take it away, Isaac, for the food demonstration. All right. Thank you, Lauren, for that great introduction. So today, like I said, we're going to be making the black bean quesadillas and you know, we'll first go over some of the ingredients and some of the equipment that you will need for this um, demonstration. So first, we're going to go over the black beans. And as she stated, these are low sodium, which is really, really good. And if you can't find the low sodium, um, something you could do is you could rinse the beans or you could drain all the salt out to help reduce some of that sodium level in the food. Um, beans are really, really high in plant protein, which is really um healthy for us and beans. Also, the skin is a good source of fiber in the beans as well, which is going to help in satiety and also just with um, digestion as well. Um, something that's really important for us WIC participants is the folate found in beans because it's really important for women who are of childbearing years to consume sources of folate and folic acid because this is really important for the development of the neural tube to prevent things like spina bifida and other complications like that. So we really recommend women to consume this around those childbearing years because the neural tube actually happens really early in pregnancy. So we need to make sure that we're not only consuming it during pregnancy, but also pre-pregnancy as well. We went with the cilantro leaves, um, which was really nice because they're more shelf stable than fresh cilantro. So we can keep those on hand for a while. Um, olive oil is a really good source of unsaturated fatty acids. Um, a good rule of thumb is just try to choose more of those plant-based fats, you know, your olive and canola oil versus, you know, the fats found in like dairy or meat. Um, and we went with salsa, which um, tomatoes are a great source of vitamin C. And uh, we went with the block of cheese, like she stated, because that is WIC eligible and we just would shred it up. But uh, cheese is a great source of calcium too, as well for those strong bones. And then lastly here, we went with the whole wheat tortilla. Uh, whole wheat is really, really important to remember to get because you get the whole grain or fiber component. Um, and that outer hull is really, really full of fiber, which is really good for us. And also going back to the folic acid, um, we have started fortifying our foods back in 1998, a lot of your cereal and grain products. So making sure we get that folic acid um, pre-pregnancy is really, really important. And then moving on to our equipment that we will need during this um, food demo, uh, we have the cheese grater. Like we said, um, there's only certain types of cheeses you can get for um, through WIC, and most of them is a 16 ounce block of cheese. So just to shred the cheese, uh, we have our measuring cups and measuring spoons, which will be provided in your bag. So those are really, really nice and handy and beneficial. Um, we have a strainer. And the strainer we used um, to strain the beans and then to also to strain the salsa because you don't want all that moisture in your um, quesadilla and making it like soggy. And then we have our mixing bowls, our various spatulas and spoons. And then we have our heat source to actually make 
the quesadillas here. We have a nice little skillet that Lauren brought in for us today, which is really, really nice. So first, I'm just going to go on ahead and turn this on just to get it warm for later. But we're going to dive right into this. So the first um, ingredients, when you come in and get your um, wick bag, it'll have these great ingredients on here. Um, it's really good about going through like cultural diversity, talking about certain different types of things like an Eastern dish. And then today we'll be doing the Latino dish. Um, so first, you're going to strain the salsa, which is what we did here in this bowl. Like I said, to get rid of that moisture. So you'll use your strainer and dump your salsa in here. You want a three-fourths cup of the chunky salsa, and you're just going to add it to your mixing bowl, like so. And then next, you're just going to go on ahead. You're going to add the whole 15 and a half ounce can of your beans. I think it's good to make sure you drain them just to get rid of all that moisture that you can. So you'll add your beans and then your cheese as well. And the cheese here, we're going to do about two cups of shredded. And we did the modern or the Colby Jack. I think the recipe calls for Colby or Monterey or Colby and Monterey Jack, like a blend. But the wick eligible one was the Colby. So we went with that. So you'll take the full two cups of cheese. Okay. And then lastly is your parsley. So you can do um, fresh chopped if you would like, like we said, just for convenience factors and to kind of help keep it in your pantry. We went ahead with the two tablespoons of the um, dried parsley as well. Probably a little bit less than the two tablespoons of the fresh because, you know, this is dried out and they've gotten rid of all that water. So probably a little bit less of a serving there. And then we're just going to go on ahead and we're just going to mix this up here. Like I said, really an easy recipe. And I, I like how, you know, it's good for people that, you know, are following like a vegetarian diet because beans are real high in that plant protein as well. Um, you can add some spices to this if you would like, um, but just trying to make sure that we reduce the sodium. So if you want to use something like a Mrs. Dash or something different like that, so we can try to keep the overall sodium content down. Because um, generally this really isn't a high sodium meal due to those beans. So like we said, we wanted to preheat our griddle to like a medium high heat. So for the griddle, I'm just using the keep warm. Honestly, you don't need anything too, too high. You know, we're just trying to really brown this and try to melt the cheese. So you're going to take a half of you, half a cup of your mixture that you've created. And it's got some nice color to it with the beans and the cheese. So you're just going to take that and we're just going to add it in here. Okay, so that's going to be the inside of our little uh, quesadilla. And we're going to take that healthy oil that we talked about earlier, about a half a teaspoon of it. And we're going to go on ahead here and we're just going to lay it on here. This is going to help give it that nice browning. And also it's going to go on ahead to um, give it a nice crisp and firmness. And we're just going to take our tortilla now and we're going to set it on here. And we'll just let that go on ahead and start cooking a little bit. Um, so like we said, this actually is going to be more to where you can make up to, I want to say, eight servings. Um, they say it's good as a side dish, you know, if you wanted to throw on um, a couple of little things are kind of look like appetizers, you know, once you cut them up into triangles and things like that. But um, it says, you know, to serve with a piece of fruit or, you know, some chicken if you wanted to add some type of um, extra protein source to it. But for me, generally, I think it's more of a meal. But if you wanted to make it to an appetizer as well, um, was there anything that you wanted to add at all? So while this is just cooking here, you know, I'm going to go on ahead and And so you guys will find in the chat box, we actually have a link to a post um, post presentation little um, review if you wanted to click that link 
that's really going to help us out just to know, you know, if you thought it was a good food demo and just also to see if you kind of learned the key concepts. You know, we really wanted to provide a little bit of education during this, but also, you know, kind of show some good ways to cook the food. But I think it's important to really discuss things like the folic acid and the folate um, and things like that. So you could just go on ahead and click that link. That would be really, really helpful for us too as well. And let us know if there's any type of food demos that you would want to see um, in the future. We're thinking about maybe doing um, some of these other ones on the recipe card too, because these um, are really, really good. And they incorporate different types of um, quick eligible items too, which is kind of our goal, is to give you guys some creative ways to use those items as well. So it'll start um, browning and things like that, and that cheese will start to melt. It starts to smell really, really good um, too as well. And like I said, these cups that you guys are gonna get in your bags, I think are really beneficial. They go all the way from a fourth cup to a whole cup. And then you have your measuring spoons from a fourth of a teaspoon to a full tablespoon as well. So I think that's really, really um, nice of them to provide that. The only other thing I think we didn't get a chance to mention was the salsa is not WIC approved, but you could potentially make your own salsa from the fruit and vegetable allotment a month, um, as well as keeping your eye out for the farmer's market benefits that come out this summer, where you can buy fresh produce to also make your own salsa at home or other um, fresh recipes with local uh, fruits and vegetables. So we did go with the convenient option in this um, aspect, but yeah, you could potentially make that as well. And if you wanted to, if you could like dive in a little bit, because uh, there was a little difference in, you know, um, uh, the amount of money they got during COVID times, if you wanted to kind of dive into that a little bit to tell them, you know, the difference that they might see from now in March, maybe to later in April. Yeah, so as of right now, um, all we know is that uh, March has the extension of the extra fruits and vegetable benefit. Uh, we haven't heard anything about them continuing to add that COVID pandemic relief option for WIC participants, um, but there is lobbying in Congress to help continue that um, extra fruit and vegetable benefit. Um, but March is the last month so far that we can take advantage of that. So if you haven't loaded your WIC benefits for March, definitely you can take advantage of that until it's over. Yeah, that was really, really nice that they were getting such high amounts of fruits and vegetables because, you know, that's what we preached to you guys to be consuming more of. So it was really nice that they were able to do that during these times as well. And so it's starting to brown on the top now. So we'll go on ahead and get our presentation plate ready. Um, trying to make it look a little bit like the picture a little bit here. We got the side little dish of salsa and things like that. So we'll just go on ahead and take this little guy. And then you can just go on ahead and put it on the plate. And what's nice is, like we said, it's going to make that nice crisp little crust um, with the addition of that oil and things like that too. And if you wanted to, you could cut it up. But I mean, I think it looks better, you know, as like a full on dish as well. So you would just cut it up and dip it and serve it at a um, family event or anything like that. Um, please let us know if there's any additional types of recipes that you guys would like us to do. And if you could please just go on ahead and fill out that evaluation form there at the end, that would greatly be appreciated. Um, thank you for your time and thanks for coming.